Hello and welcome to this Price of Job tutorial. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Price of Job's project management module for plant and fleet. To access the project management modules, go to the company tab here in the top navigation bar and select company. In the left hand sidebar, you'll see a variety of project management tools, including plant and fleet manager. If you don't have a project management section shown here, you may need to upgrade your subscription level. To do so, go to your account icon here in the top right Click the drop down and select shop. And then here you can select the project management module and subscribe for either a monthly or a yearly plan. If you'll be adding multiple modules, we strongly encourage you to take a look at the all included package, which sells for $5.99 a year as compared to $777 a year if you're to buy each of the modules separately, a savings of almost $200. Because we're already subscribed to the project management package, we'll just return back to our company tab by clicking the start button. Then we'll click Company in the navigation bar, and then down to the Project Management section. The Plant and the Fleet Manager tools are very similar, but the Plant Manager is designed to help you manage your various plant and tools, and the Fleet Manager is designed to manage your various vehicles. Let's start with the Fleet Manager. To add a vehicle, go to the top right corner here and select Add Fleet, and then give your vehicle a name. We'll call this one Delivery Van, and Save. To help us identify the vehicle, we recommend uploading an image of the specific vehicle. So we'll just click Upload, and then select a file from our system. And now we have an image of our vehicle. And this will help us to quickly identify this specific vehicle from others that we might have in our fleet. Next, we can specify the license plate number, and then assign a driver. This opens up a drop-down menu with a variety of our staff members that we have already loaded here in our Staff tab. We can take a look here to see our staff members. And for more information on this, you can refer to the tutorial that we have on managing your company setup, including your staff. Let's head back to the fleet manager and assign a driver for the delivery van. We'll assign this one to Rob Smith. Next, we can specify the details of this vehicle, including the year, make, and color, and then input the cost. We can also set the purchase date by selecting a date from the calendar, either by scrolling back through the calendar pages or selecting a year from the dropdown and a month and then a date. We can also set the date for the next registration renewal and a tax due date. We can also assign the warranty due date and insurance due date. And if we'd like to add any custom fields, we can click this plus icon here to add some custom fields. We can choose from a variety of different custom fields, including text, select box, check box, and date picker. A text box gives us a field where we can input freeform text. A select box gives us a drop down menu where we can select multiple choices. A checkbox is a binary yes or no checkbox that we can select, and a date picker gives us a calendar pop-up where we can input a date. So for example, let's choose a checkbox here, and we'll assign this custom field a title. We'll call this one Automatic Transmission, and save. And now because this vehicle is in fact an automatic transmission, we can leave this checkbox selected. If it were a manual transmission, we could deselect it. And if we would like this custom field to apply to all of our fleet vehicles, we can select the options menu here on the right side and select edit and we can activate global settings. And this custom field will now apply to all of our vehicles in our fleet. So if we take a look at this pickup here, we can see here's the automatic transmission field here. If this vehicle is a manual transmission, we can deselect that one. Let's go back to our delivery van. And we see there's also an area for important notes that we can apply to this vehicle. For example, we might say spare keys in office safe. Next, let's take a look at the History tab for this vehicle. Here we can add as many history items as we want by clicking the Add History button here. Let's give this entry a title. Let's call this one Brake Repair. And then we can set a date by scrolling back on the calendar or choosing a date on the right-hand side. We'll just pick a date from the pages here. And we'll specify the mileage that the repair took place at. We'll say 45,000 miles. And the cost of that brake repair was 2500 and then here from the drop down menu we can choose a type whether this was maintenance repair service ministry of transportation sold accident scrapped or other in this case we'll just say this was maintenance and then save and that's added to our vehicle history and you can fill out your complete vehicle history here and have it available for easy reference anywhere where you have access to price a job next if we have any documents relating to this vehicle we can go to the documents tab here and here we have a file manager where we can create a series of new folders. Let's call this one manuals. 
and we can create as many new folders as we want and upload as many new files as we want up to a limit of two gigabytes of data. And our data usage is indicated here in the top right corner. As you can see, we're already using 1.3 megabytes of our two gigabyte limit. So let's go ahead and add another new folder. We'll call this one driver info and I click OK. And now let's upload a file and we can upload files directly from our system. So let's upload the driver's license for this vehicle driver. And now to move this driver's license into the driver info folder, all we have to do is click, drag, and drop. And that puts this file within this folder, which turns opaque to show us that there's content within this folder, as opposed to an empty folder, which is indicated with just an outline. To see the contents of this folder, we can just enter that. And here's the driver's license file that we just added. Also, we can see our navigation bar here expands to show us that we're now within this subfolder. And this will expand further, the same as it would in pretty much any Windows or Mac system, to show us exactly where you are within your navigation tree. If we right click on this file, we have options to either rename the file, get a share link, and this creates a price of job URL that we can copy to our clipboard by clicking this icon here. And then we can share that with anyone who can then download this file directly from the price of job server. We can also copy this file, cut it, delete it, download it, or mail it directly from within Price a Job. And this goes over the Price a Job servers as well. Let's go back to our Company tab, back to Fleet Manager, and back to Documents, and back into our Driver Info folder. And let's go ahead and cut this and go back to our Home folder. And let's paste this file here under the Home page. So we've now removed that file from the Driver Info folder. So this is indicated now with an outline. And if we have many folders and files to manage, we can use this select box here to either select all or use the drop down arrow to select none. Or we can select only the folders or only the files. And if we want to select multiple files, we can just hold down our control button on a Windows system or the command button on a Mac. And we can pick and choose the folders and files that we want to highlight. Alternately, if we select one and then hold down the shift button, that will select all items sequentially between the two items that we clicked. We also have options of viewing these files and folders in either table view, which allows us to sort our content by name, date, size, or type, or in grid view, which indicates our folders and files with an icon with the file size indicated in the top corner of each icon. Next, we have a notes tab, and this is where we can store a series of notes. And we can add as many notes as we want to here. And by default, they're all indicated with today's date. To change the date, just click on the date selector and scroll through the calendar pages or select a date from the left-hand sidebar. And you can reorder these notes by clicking on the handles here on the left-hand side and just slide them around to whichever order you need them to be in. If you have many vehicles, you can search for them here by clicking in the search field. For example, you might be searching for van and that will filter the results that only match your search criteria. To remove any vehicles from your fleet manager, you can just click on the option buttons here beside each vehicle and here you're given a delete option. Next, let's take a look at the plant manager. So here in the project management tools in the left-hand sidebar, we'll select plant manager. And this is where we can input all of our various plant and tools. And you can add a new item by clicking add plant and tools here in the top right corner. And you can see we've already started pages for an excavator and a hammer drill, but these haven't been filled out yet. So let's go ahead and fill these out. So similar to the fleet manager, we recommend uploading an image to identify the various plant and tool. So let's go ahead and upload an image of our excavator. We can choose this file from our system. And now we have an image of our excavator that helps it stand out in the list of plant and tool. Similarly, we can do the same thing for our hammer drill. Let's go ahead and upload an image of that. Choose a file from our system. And now that's indicated with an image. Let's go back to our excavator. And here we can input the model of our excavator. So we'll say this is a JCB. And here we can input the serial number and the cost and the purchase date and the service date. And if we have a variety of locations, we can indicate the location that this item will be stored at. So we'll just say here, storage yard. And then here we can select a status, either available or on hire. So we'll set this as available. And we also have custom fields here that we can add a variety of text, select box, check boxes, or date pickers. So let's go ahead and select a text box and we'll call this one anti-theft engraving number. And if we want this custom field to apply to all of our fleet, we can go ahead and select the global settings and save. And here we can input the anti-theft etching number for each of our items. And there's also a place for notes here where we can leave any important notes regarding this item. Next, let's take a look at the history tab. And similar to what we saw in the fleet manager, we can add history items here. 
by giving this entry a title. So for example, we might call this one grease job and input the date. Just scroll back and choose a date from the calendar and input the mileage or hours. We'll just say this was done at 75 hours. Input the cost, $500. And then input the type, either maintenance, repair, service, department of transportation, sold, accident, scrapped, or other. So this is just routine maintenance. So we'll select that and save. And you can fill out a complete history for your items here. Next, let's take a look at the reservation tab. And here we can add reservations for this item. And here we'd select the reservation date from, so we might scroll ahead and choose a future date for this one, say from April 18th to the end of the week, April 22nd, and then choose a location. We'll just say downtown and then specify who requested this reservation and put any notes that we might need here. We'll just say drain run and save. Now we'll take a look at the documents tab. And again, just like we saw in the fleet manager, here we have a file manager where we can create new folders, as many as we want. So let's call this one invoices and enter. And that creates a new folder called invoices. And again, we can upload as many files as we want to up to a data limit of two gigabytes. And this is shared data among all of our various file managers, whether it's the fleet manager, the plant manager, or any of our other project management modules. And let's go ahead and upload a file to this one. We'll choose an invoice from our system, but you see we've triggered an error here saying that we have to choose proper symbols. And that's because the file name of this PDF has a number symbol in it. And the price job file management system will only support symbols, including an underscore, a dash or rounded brackets. Any other symbols will trigger an improper symbol error. So we'll just clear that number symbol. And then we can go ahead and save and we can add as many new folders to organize our files as we need. So for example, you might have more folders here for for manuals and if you spell anything wrong you can just right click on that to rename it and enter or maybe another folder for insurance and folders don't take up any of your data usage just the uploaded files do so you can feel free to create as many folders as you need to stay organized and lastly we have a tab here for notes and again just like we saw in the fleet manager we can add as many notes as we want to here and by default they're all set for today's date but we can change that by clicking on the date and scrolling through the calendar pages or selecting a date from the left-hand sidebar here. And to reorder these notes, we can just grab the handles here on the left and slide that note to the proper order. If we need to delete any notes, we can just click the trash icon here on the right and confirm. And as you fill out your plant and tools, you'll see them all appear in this list here on the right-hand pane. And they'll be easy to pick out because you've uploaded images for each of them. But to search for them, you can just type in the search field here and type in drill and it will show you the relevant results. To remove any of these items, you can just click on the options menu here by clicking the three dots and then click delete. So with Price of Jobs Plant Manager and Fleet Manager, these offer an easy way to keep track of all your vehicles and plant and tools to have all of your details stored in one easy, convenient location on the cloud, accessible wherever you are, on a desktop system or a mobile device. And that's how to use the Plant and Fleet Manager tools. Thank you for using Price of Jobs.